Alright guys, welcome back to another survival thingy in The Division. Um, I decided to have another go with this, I've played a couple of these games, but I think this one was quite interesting. Now I've cut it up as usual into small pieces and I'm actually recording my voice after I recorded the game. Because I had a couple of games that I recorded, but I just didn't talk much in them. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk after I recorded, if that's okay. But I decided to show you guys this one because it was quite an experience, actually. It was a lot of fun. The survival mission itself dragged on for about 75 minutes or something like that. And it was a blast, to be honest. I have never come this close to dying that many times before, and I am just amazed that I survived for as long as I did. Spoiler. But, yeah. Uh, so, as always, you start off by just um, gearing up, gathering uh, supplies, mostly crafting supplies so you can make better clothes. That was what I was looking for the most. And obviously, electronics to make the different skills that you need. I ended up going with Pulse and... I think it's called Heal or something like that. It's not the medical station, it's the other one. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, but at least it gives me heals. I shoot a thing down into the ground, and I can, or I can just press a button and I heal myself. Uh, but that's what I ended up going with. But, as I said, it was a very interesting game, and you're about to see why. Because right off the bat, I lost all my health packs, or medkits. And it's just insane that I managed to fight the guys that I did and live to tell the tale. Because, I ran into, like, I, I, I had such a bad luck. I ran into everything you don't want to run into when you don't have the gear for it. I ran into really powerful enemies over and over and over again and I had one sliver of health left so it's just amazing that I did survive. But first of all I'm still in the looting phase here, I haven't really run into any very dangerous enemies yet. And this is probably the part that I like the most, it feels like you accomplished the most here, at least when you play on PvE. I haven't gotten around to play PvP yet. I think I might do that next time. But it's just that I find it challenging enough just playing PvE. And honestly, in some aspects, it's more challenging playing PvE. Because if you run into a group of enemies with one other division agent, you manage to kill them all, then he can just run up and take the loot, and you can't do anything about it. So in that way, it's really hard when you play PvE as well, because you have no way to, like, reclaiming your loot if someone else takes it, and you have no way to kill a player just to get his stuff. Therefore, it's more up to your you yourself to get the stuff required to survive. You can't just shoot someone and you're set, more or less. At least that was my experience. Here we go, I'm gonna run into some yellow guys here now, it's gonna be very interesting. I think I managed to take one of them out, but then I have to run. Because you see, my health is very low, and it's amazing that I get out of there in one piece. I <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. I think that other division agent went down, and because of that, they sort of forgot about me a bit. So I was very lucky there. Decided to not go that path again. I was heading for the crashed helicopter, and they were just at that place, so a lot of agents went down there. But I decided that it was too dangerous, so I tried to go another way, and what do you know it? I ran into another group of high-level NPCs. At least these were purple, most of them, so they weren't that hard, but they hit very... I mean, it, it's very painful. So... Yet again, I am amazed that I survived this. It was such a close call. I don't know why they missed me as much as they did, but I made it out of there alive. It's 
So I flanked around and decided I was gonna go for, I saw that there was some loot that was dropped over by the NPCs, so I thought maybe I'd just run up behind them and see if there's any medkits. But what I didn't see was that there was a guy right there. Um, I managed to get some loot, unfortunately it was just a painkiller, and that's about it. So I decided to once again run away and try to find a different approach. And that is when I ran across this really cool thing. I didn't even know this existed. So I found a manhole, thought why not. The enemies were still on my tail, so I decided to go down and have a look. And am I glad that I did that? Yeah, it was definitely worth it. There was a high level enemy down here, as you will see in a bit. But uh, if you just deal with him, you gain access to a lot of good stuff. Now, I was fortunate enough to have a sniper rifle here, and that really helped me out. But um, if you go down here when you don't have two main weapons, like, and pretty good weapons as well, I mean, I had two blues, I think, then it's gonna be really hard. Because these guys, there he is right there, those guys are quite powerful. Fortunately for me, I had my sniper rifle, so it all worked out okay. I was just checking to see if this was actually a landmark, but nope. Just a regular old place. And no other enemies in sight. Just that one guy. And there we go. Simple as that. Now the loot down here really made it possible for me to survive. If I hadn't found this place I would probably have died up there because I was in an area with a lot of agents and everything was looted. There was nothing to be found. So I was quite lucky to go down there actually. And I am definitely gonna look for those places more in the future. Just killing off some of the low leveled ones here. Of course another division agent shows up and takes the blue stuff over there. Or maybe I do. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, I'm the I'm the, the nasty one in this one. Okay. That's fine. So we're getting kinda close to moving into the dark zone now. I think I am just gonna yeah, I'm gonna check one more place before I crop the virus filter and head into the dark zone. And that is a police station. And that was also a very lucky find. I mean, I, I don't recognize anything in this map because of the snowstorm, so I was just running in blind. And this police station also helped me out a lot. It, there was so much loot in there that everything combined together before this was not as much as I found in the police station. Except for maybe down in the sewers. But except from that, this was really the mother load for me this time. So after gathering up all of that, I decided to craft my virus filter. And I also crafted an advanced virus fi filter. Because now it was time to enter the dark zone. Now I was actually quite lucky in the dark zone as well because um, I think I'm gonna check my map in a bit here and notice that my um, what is it antivirals were all the way up in DC5 or 6 yeah 6 I'm always unlucky with those but fortunately for me I happened upon a landmark and after killing like two guys I found division tech so I decided, fuck the antivirals, we're gonna go and craft ourselves a flare gun, and we're gonna get the fuck out of here straight away. That was my plan, because I was having a very hard time surviving as it was, and heading all the way up to DC-6 was not gonna happen. So we made our way over to the extraction site, 
And this is where I got really pissed off. Check this out. I fire the flare up. I know there's a hunter coming, so I'm running away to hide. There's one in four that this will happen. 25% chance, and there he is. He spawned in just as I rounded that corner, and he killed me instantly. That was very annoying. But that's about all we have time for this time, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.